All right, guys, uh, bear with me. I'm gonna test out this little tripod I got. We're biking. We are biking to the Third Street Precinct, I'm about two and a half miles away or so. Um, just kind of seeing the quality of this tripod. Tell me if I should never use it again tonight. And if you do tell me that, I might still use it again anyways. It's already proving difficult. Um, for the people just getting in here, I've got a little bike ride ahead of me. Um, I got some reports of some chaos down at the 3rd Precinct, same place we were at yesterday. Um, I was glad I was able to get to the government center where there are still people there, but it looks like that crowd's dispersing for the most part. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if the reports that I heard are true, but um, supposedly there are... Uh, People literally breaking the barrier around the precinct right now and trying to break into the precinct. I haven't had any images out of there yet, but we are hustling that way. I'm gonna put you guys back down into the uh, the mount. Um, probably won't be talking for a sec. I'm biking, trying to get there as quick as we can. All right, so bear with me, thanks. That just doesn't work. It's way too shaky. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Until I'm in a scene where I'm riding quite a bit slower than I am right now. I'm trying to get there as quick as I can. Still, for the people who have never been to Minneapolis, while well, I bike down to um, the scene of some riding, you can get a view of our city. Yeah, probably should get a GoPro, huh? Sounds like it costs money that I don't have, so for now this phone's gonna have to do. Colleen, I have a helmet uh, strapped to my backpack. No, I'm not wearing it, but got it with me for Honestly, I bought it today um, in case they start popping off the rubber bullets again. That is why I got a helmet and I spray painted it white. Little one, little mile. There's the Riverside Plaza. One sec guys, just checking something. Might pause for just a second. All right. I hope things are peaceful tonight too. I can hear sirens in the distance. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Hey, let me know, what, was it just pause? Does it pause when I do that? doesn't really tell me. Thank you. I will uh, 
try not to do that thing. Very often. Kind of parked like in the middle of uh, the precinct in downtown. Thinking that the government plaza was going to get um, more was going to happen there. Which it, when I drove by, there was lots of people. It looked like a march. I had kind of stalled right in front of there. Um, by the time I got there on my bike, it was kind of dispersed. Some of you guys saw what was going on. See, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know, you know? I just got an iPhone 11 X Max, I think, the big one. It's a house of balls. See, I'd put you guys in my tripod, but, or my mount thing, but it was way too shaky. again on my way to the precinct I'm just giving the outsiders from outside of Minneapolis a view of Minneapolis see smoke. Is that the pawn shop? I can see smoke from here, right ahead of us. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... It, just follow the smoke, huh? We're almost there, guys. Thanks for bearing with. I wanted to start live just to have all this. Um... Oh, too late, dog. Um... I wanted to start with this. I don't really expect too many people to be tuned in right now, but give us a look at our city when it's peaceful, quiet. Like I said earlier, though, there is a eerie, eerie feeling. You look at people, stress levels are high. At least that's what it feels like. One sec, guys. Quick pause, quick pause. We're just about a mile away still. Um, but I know that's just from the precinct, so we're not that quite that far out from um, the action, I suppose. You can see, uh, I don't know if you guys heard reports, but lots and lots of businesses closed. I don't know if these boards were up before today or not. I know a lot of businesses around downtown even out to Roseville, some of the surrounding suburbs. 
Um, closed shop early, boarded up windows, reports of business owners um, manning their stores with guns or baseball bats. Not much of what I've witnessed quite yet tonight. I'm really just getting out here. Just letting you guys know what I've heard so far. I'll tell you though, I only slept about an hour last night. I think, I don't know. It's been a pretty intense experience since, since yesterday. It wasn't really until I got home this morning that I even began to cope with it. It's very intense. Um, but again, thank you guys for uh, all the, uh, the kind comments I got from yesterday. I really appreciate it. Um, again, just to reiterate, I'm not out here doing this for me. I strengthen numbers. There's power in my presence. I don't want to see the violence. But uh, clearly, a message needs to be made. And someone's got to make it heard. Or something like that. flames a bit better here now I'm gonna go in through the back side not the same side that we came in yesterday I gotta stop for two seconds uh, I just got to put something on my phone real quick makes it easier to hold I'm rocking that no case gang so Living life on the edge, man. Marcel, would you watch that series? Dude, thank God I brought at least something to eat. Last night I was starving. I didn't really eat anything today. But, I'll be alright. quite a few people are out here tonight um i've told a lot of the people that i've talked to sorry for the people i haven't responded to it's been overwhelming to a degree um but everyone be safe tonight don't do anything stupid don't cause harm onto others there's no reason for that buildings burning and hurting your brothers to me are two different things So right now, I don't know uh, if you guys are even curious. I'm at 26th in Minnehaha, though. So still, um, I'm heading south. So I'm to the, I am to the, don't hit me, don't hit me. I am to the uh, north of the fire still. Who wants to start putting bets on whether or not I get hit by a car tonight? Just kidding. But it was just so close so many times last night. Should ask the bike shop to borrow me a road bike. I move a little bit faster. Wow, we can see flames from here. Is that Cub Foods? Did they get in the? I'm just speculating, guys, but I think that might be Cub Foods where we saw smoke smoldering out of yesterday. Um, it appeared the fire prevention systems put out the fires in Cub Foods and the strip malls. Hey, guys, on your right, just heads up. Excuse me, thanks. Um, yeah, I don't know though. We're almost there. We'll see here in a sec. Let's 
see people kind of dispersing out of there. Oh, that's Target. Where are those flames from? Hey, where are those flames coming from? I don't, I don't know. No? Oh, it's, that looks like by the, I guess that looks like by the, this is the back of this cub here that I was talking about that I thought, but it's a little bit further away. We are arriving though here um, on scene. You can start to see uh, the amounts of people out here. I know there are demonstrations across the city right now. Um, from ports, this is the biggest. Before I got out here, I got a text Potentially some tear gas deployed in St. Paul um, on, on gatherers there. Let's get up and see what's going on with this fire, though. You can, you can start to see, though, there are lots of people out here again tonight. And it is still early. It is early. Yeah, it's something else for sure. It's not good. It's past it. I'm trying to ride up towards that and see what the aftermath looks like. Some of the stuff we were looking at yesterday. You can see here, there's, there's power is out here. There's cars driving through, just real recklessly. Um, I'm not sure if the, let's see. I'm not sure if the crane fell or if they took it down sometime today out of safety. Oh shit, is Aldi on fire? No? I don't know, we're gonna see here in a sec. Yeah, I don't think the crane fell, I think they dismantled it. Which, fuck yeah. Heads up. Damn, that is a big blaze. Lots and lots of people. Smoke coming from the parking lot. That's the target we were at yesterday. Right here that we're looking at right there. That's the auto zone. Some fucking questionable. Oh, to feel tear gas in the air. Damn, yeah, tear gas in the air. Whew. I'm going to have to put my mask on here, I think. Fuck, wow. right, it's fucking it. Give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to figure out which direction this tear gas is coming from so I can look away. Let me grab my mask out, too. Hold on. I didn't have any proper goggles. If someone wants to hook me up with some goggles, that'd be dope. Big flame though. I couldn't get closer yet uh, because of the tear gas in the air. As soon as I'm gonna throw this mask on, give it a little bit. Is tear gas flammable? Cause that'd be ridiculous if they were shooting off tear gas with all these flames blazing. Um, you doing okay? Just ate some tear gas? Where'd they deploy it? Outside, oh, so I got, oh, they shot off more. Uh, 
Um, to be completely honest, I could not get close enough to really identify that building. My guess, though, if anyone remembers that Unicorn Ride interview, I think it's that um, bank that we were outside of for that interview. I'm not certain, though. There's deer, tear gas in the air over here. This is pretty much a whole new soon scene. By the time I left last night, there was not nearly this many people here. So just so you guys know, looking over this direction past this bus stop, that's where the precinct is. That's the Third Street Precinct. Um, when I started heading over, I heard uh, rioters or gatherers were uh, attempting to breach the barrier or break into the precinct. Um, so we hustled on over here. You can see a couple drones up in the air over there looking at the fire. Big, big, thick smoke. Uh, the sun was, was coming up by the time I left, so... Let me throw a mask on quick, guys. I'm sending you down. Um, I got a mask on. My mouth is burning. That's the hardest part is when it's hard to breathe to me. I can kind of deal with the eyes a little bit, but when it's in the throat, that's when I got to... I got to... Um, explosions, presumptively, currently, they're, they're tear gas. Um, I can't identify any new smoke, though, near the precinct, so... I can't say for sure if it is new tear gas or what. Could have been fireworks. Fireworks were awfully power or popular last night. Uh, I haven't haven't seen any quite yet today. This is the aftermath of this auto zone. You see that? Uh... Oh, you can see some of that. Have I hope you guys have seen the video going around of. A provocator being the first to cause destruction at this here auto zone. Something really fucking fishy about that video. I'm not one to, to make claim on what it is. I gotta be careful of glass tonight. So, um, you can hear some chanting going on down the street. Um, that's next to the target. I'm pulling up here. Look at the aftermath of the, the front of the police station right now. There was some wild shit going on that we missed. They got the tall barricades pushed over. They've got officers on the roof up there. I don't know if you can see them. Um, some, some madness definitely happened here not long ago. No justice, no peace. Yep, we are in. Minneapolis, Minnesota tonight. It's the current situation happening outside the 3rd Street Precinct. Um, it's south side of Minneapolis. There are, from what I hear, gatherings, excuse me, um, gatherings across the city. Um, St. Paul, business closures out to the surrounding suburbs, closing early out of fears of rioters and looters. Um, we're going to get close to this fire now. It doesn't appear to be any tear gas over here. That was just residual from out front of the precinct there. We're going to get up there, though.
D bags. What's good, brother? Let's give you a look right into this blaze, guys. This is, if I remember right, this is where the pawn shop was here. See a lot of cameras, a lot of people gathering over here. Large fire. They want to kill us at the flowers. We got to you just kind of see the people rushing up here to see what's going on. Lots of people congregating over here by this fire. Um, this is on Lake Street, just east of... Uh, Nigga, that's dumb as hell. It's a bunch of firefighters, bro. Stupid as hell. Um... Yep. Still no lights out here. Doing some really good reporting, I'm sure. Very, very, very comparable to what you're getting right here. Yo, sorry, I like that. I don't know. It forced me. It was trying to reconnect for a while. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I got full 5G out here right now. My guess is the amount of people, amount of people trying to stream or broadcast um, is, is Still just the back side of that fire here. We're gonna try and see if we can move around smoothly.
Yeah, I don't. I haven't confirmed what building that is. On. I'm not sure what building that is. You want a hand? She's gonna be all right. I think she just twisted her ankle. Sounded like some tear gas going off. I thought this girl just fainted right there, but I think she just like twisted her ankle off the curb. Yo, sorry guys, this leg is ridiculous. We're in Minneapolis, Minnesota. East Lake Street outside the 3rd Street Precinct. A lot of this destruction here, this was a, a frame of a, a building, of an apartment building that burnt down last night. Um, probably the biggest. Guys, I don't know what's going on, absolutely. Absolutely nothing has changed from last night um, on my end. I'm outside of Cove right now, Jack. Yes, Marcel, um, uh, it's off. This is just a fire. I saw off and from the distance trying to get away from some of the crowds, see if this can come back. The deal is. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at right now, it's high water in the lake. Hey guys, I'm gonna try and get something situated here real quick. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna set you down quick sec. But again, we're back at the Target parking lot where the majority of the events uh, took place yesterday. Guys, tell me I'm not sure what um, what to do about this connection. Any ideas would be nice. I'm, not, I'm trying not to move much um, for a second until I can. This is still the scene. The strip mall. Lake Street, Minneapolis. East Lake Street. Lake Street and Hiawatha.